Good evening, everybody in Israel, in America. It's good afternoon. And here we are on Wednesday, the first week of, of the three weeks. So we, we want to do things that are connecting us with Beit HaMikdash and with rebuilding the Beit HaMikdash. And like I said, you know, tipping the scales, tipping the scales with the good deeds and with yearning and expecting Beit HaMikdash. And when we learn, we learn about Beit HaMikdash in these days, the Rebbe brought from Yechezkel, you know, from the Midrash saying, you know, if we, if we deal with Beit HaMikdash these days, and in general, it's as if we're rebuilding it. So we're gonna do some songs about Beit HaMikdash and about building our own inner tabernacle. Uh, I wanna do a song that is quite familiar in the, in the davening. There's a song called B'nei B'tcha Kivat Chila, in Rosh Hashanah, I think it will keep promising it, and on other holidays. Uh, there's a, also a cute one in, in Moshitz, Bnei Betcha, there's probably more than one, there's one that I remember. Uh, it goes like this. But it's different words. Oh yeah, it is the same words. Oh, no, the Honnen in the Shah, 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 the Honnen in
So that's a Mojitzer Nigun, B'nei Yitzchak Kivatchila. That's from the Davening. I don't remember now another one for this melody. Probably it is, but I don't remember. We have one of the poems that we sing on Shabbos is Tzur Mishul Achalnu, Baruch Hu That poem, the last part, is Yibanei HaMikdash. So there's a lot of melodies for that. I want to share some of them with you. Um, one of them, I, I'm, I brought them last year also, and it's very good that we repeat them because hopefully you, you already recognize them. But some of them I found out whose nigun they are, which is a chilesh. Uh, you know, they say, davar omro If you say something, you quote something, and you mentioned who you're quoting from, you're bringing Yi'ula to the world. So let's try and do that. So uh, Yibanei HaMikdash, there's two of them that already know who they are. The third one I didn't find out yet. Uh, first one is from Maram Shapira, Rabbi Meir Shapira of Lublin, the founder of the Daf Yomi and the Yeshiva of Lublin, Yeshivat Chachma Lublin. Uh, and his name goes like this. Yibane Hamigdash, Yibane Hamigdash, Yirtiyon, Yirtiyon, Temale, 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 Aha. Remember this one? I need some sugar because my brain is demanding more oxygen than I have. So I'm yawning over there. Maybe this will help. <laughs> okay, next, Ibn Amigdash. I found out after some asking and pushing, and people said, No, no, we don't know. It's... And then somebody remembered that it's from the biggest like of Melitz, the military, Rebbe. With a lot of beautiful heart women, um, it's not such an old. I don't remember who it comes from. Uh, it's around the Holocaust time, before, after. Some brothers, they, you know, father and son. And this one's Rabbi Yitzchak of Melit. I have a recording of his singing it. Somebody sent it to me. I remember the song from childhood, but I had to change the notes because it's not the way I remember it. It's a little different. 
So I'm going to sing it to you the way it's supposed to go. Bezalashem. Yibane, 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 hamikdash, irtsiyom netehe mahale. Yibane, 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 hamikdash, irtsiyom netehe mahale. Yibane, yibane, hamikdash, irtsiyom netehe mahale. Yibane, yibane, And now that I know it right, with the voice of, hey, you can ask me, I'll, I should send it in the group, the, the whole piece, because he starts with the Banai Mikdash and he ends with Banai in the mid, in middle. He has Chazanus, like for Rachem Bechazdecha, whatever the poet, poem is. <laughs> okay. So, Wait a minute, I'll ask the list of the people. I want to see who's with us. Okay, a third one that I don't know who it is. I didn't ask yet, so I didn't find out who it is. Also an old one. I'm very familiar. Na 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 This is all, only in the Western Ashkenazi world. We have these poems also in the Sephardic world. Uh, this is actually a Sephardic, Sephardic from 
Spain or the Ladino, I don't know where it comes from, the Snigan, but uh, the Tsumi Shelo with Oriental melodies. Here's one. Tsumi Shelo Achano, and the last part is Yibane. Yibane ha migna remembered that one of the other poems that we sing on, on Shabbos, we sing in Chabad, they usually don't sing it, but in my childhood we used to sing it, and many of the Jewish congregations that sing it on Shabbos. Karibon Olam Ve'almaya, the last part, Lemikdash Echtub Ul Kodesh Kodshin, Ata Adi Ve'echdun Ruchin Ve'nafshin, Vizeh Mulach Shirin Ve'rachshin, Birush Lem Karta De'Shufraya, translation, Lemikdash Echtub, Wow, I don't remember what the first sentence is in Mikdash to your To your Beit Mikdash, you should, you should come back. I think you should come back to your Beit Mikdash. Or the Kodesh Kurchin on the Kodesh HaKodeshim. Atar di ve'yechdun, ruchim ve'nafshim. And then we're going to be happy, the nefesh and ruach, everything, ruchim ve'nafshim. V'izamrun lach, shirim ve'rachshin. And then we're really going to sing to you, shirim ve'rachshin, melodies and songs. Birush lem karta, in a beautiful city of Yerushalayim. Amigdash, rebuild it. Uh, first, we should build it in our own inner selves, like the sin. And when we learn about building the Mishkan, the Libi Mishkan, I'm going to build the Mishkan inside of me. So let's sing one of those. Let's sing one of those. Uh, the melody is by Rabbi Shmuel Brazil. The words are according to Sefer Haridim. It's from Sefer Haridim, and Shmuel Brazil. Yeah, he wrote the melody. Let's sing it. 
בלב אהבים ישכן אמנה, להדר כבודו, ומשכן מזבח אסי, לכאן אהודו, בלב אהבים ישכן אמנה, להדר כבודו. ובמשכן מזבח אסי, לקרני הודו, ולנער תמיד אקח לי את האש הכנה, ולקורבן הקריב לו את נפשי, את נפשי היחידה. ולנער תמיד אקח לי את האש הכדה ולכל בנה הקריב לו את נפשי את נפשי היחידה בלב אבי מי ישכן אבנה להדר כבודו ובמשכן מזבח אסי לקרני הודו. בלב אבי מי ישכן אמנה להדר כבודו. ובמשכן מזבח אסי לקרני הודו. Beautiful song. Uh, there's an instrumental version in my uh, first album that I put out, Eskara Nagin Eti Balayla. And when I needed permission from uh, Akum, Akum is the, uh, the organization of composers and compositorium, uh, yeah. So uh, I said, you know, this song is in my album. And she says, uh, who wrote it? I said, Shmuel Brazil. And he uh, said, ah, you have to give, uh, to pay money to somebody named Shmuel Barzilai. I said, no, it's not Shmuel Barzilai, it's Shmuel Barzil. Prove it. So I had to find out. I found it in some, some uh, songbook that it says Shmuel Brazil. And I said, okay, fine. Uh, let me go. And if we're talking about Bilbavim Mishkan Evnei, the words, the original words are from Sefer Haredim, Bilbavim Mishkan Evnei Lo, Lahadar Zibor. The words are a little different. Rabbi David Verdiger, He, he has a recording that he's singing it with a different melody. The melody is an ancient melody that uh, Hindi, you would probably know it. They sing it in Rajin. It's from uh, Stralisk. It comes from Stralisk, maybe from Uri Stralisk himself. And the Talmudim of the Stralisk brought it to Rajin. And uh, Rabbi David Verdiger's son, uh, Mordechai ben David, he sings it with uh, Achat Sha'alti. So I'm going to sing it with Achat Sha'alti. I love it. And uh, I, I hope I sing it right. Probably sing it a little different than Rajin, but that's the way I remember it. Um, <clears throat> so again, we're yearning for Beta Mikdash. We're trying to build it within ourselves. We're trying to make here Eretz Israel, like the Frida Karebis said, you know, to one of the, no, the Tzemach Tzedek said to one of the Hasidim that complained that he wants to go to Eretz Israel, but he doesn't know if he's going to be able to learn or whatever. So Tzemach Tzedek said, so Mach do Eretz Israel, make Eretz Israel here. And every year it has to make, and, and it's connected with the parshiot now that is about conquering the land and dividing the land between the people. Everything is connected with preparing for the geula and making Eretz Israel within ourselves and everywhere. So let's sing, Achat Sha'alti Met Hashem, 
the only thing I want is to dwell in this pla place. Beautiful, beautiful song. I remember it from childhood, and then I found out last year I was so happy. I found it was from Sadikim, it was an ancient Ligan, maybe from Uyas Tolisk himself. So, yeah, you know, we, we're, it's Shabbat Mavachim Av, and Av, they say it's Rashi Tevot Elul Ba. It's already time to get ready for Elul. Elul is coming. And Tammuz is Rashi Tevot, Zmanet Tshuva Mashbashim Ubaim. Time for doing Tshuva is getting closer and closer. So, um, I want to sing something in English now. Uh, there's a cute song from some seminary or something. I don't know where it comes from. It's a famous uh, Yiddish Negan. And some uh, talented person put beautiful words about it. I put to this melody. And it's talking about rebuilding with Amigdash, that every good deed we do is like adding another brick to the Beit HaMikdash. And uh, yeah, maybe one more thing, one more deed, one more mitzvah uh, is going to tip the scales and we're going to get the Geula Shlema. Way up high in the sky, there's a building yet not finished. Way up high in the sky is Mikdash HaShlishi. Way up high in the sky, there's a building in the finished way up high in the sky is the Nashashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem adds another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem adds another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. Way up high in the sky, there's a building yet not finished. Way up high in the sky, the Mikdash Hashlishi. Way up high in the sky, there's a building yet not finished. Way up high in the sky, the Mikdash Hashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem adds another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem adds another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. Thank you, Hilinda. She's writing us the words so you can sing with me. That's so sweet of you. 
Way up high in the sky, there's a building yet not finished. Way up high in the sky is Mikdash Hashlishi. And way up high in the sky, there's a building yet not finished. Way up high in the sky is Mikdash Hashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem adds another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem. As another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. We're way up high in the sky, there's a building yet not finished. Way up high in the sky is Mikdash Hashlishi. Way up high in the sky, there's a building yet not finished. Way up high in the sky is Mikdash Hashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem, as another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. And for every mitzvah that we do so carefully, Hashem, as another brick to the Mikdash Hashlishi. Thank you so much, Hinda. Um, you know, the last words we heard from the Red Lebel time is Berov Shira Zimra with plenty of song and, and music. And the Rebbe said, we tried everything to bring uh, Geula. What we didn't try is Simcha of the Geula, being happy as if the Geula is here. And one of the Sichot, he also connected with the music. And he says, Berov, Shira, Vezimra. That's the way we're going to bring the Geula, is Berov, Shira, Vezimra. So, um, yeah. So we're going to sing more about Beit HaMikdash. Hoping that you know our singing about the English for sure is going to bring it home. Where's my notebook? I ask you a question: Who made this song "Way Up High in the Sky"? It's such the a melody nice is, a, is a Yiddish. It's it's a known Hasidic song. I don't know what who it is. I don't know which seminary of girls. Now in Yiddish also. I don't know what. In Yiddish. No, I don't know. I, I know it's a Jewish song. I don't know if it's Yiddish. Davka. What tune is it? It's a Chabad tune. No, I don't think it's a Chabad tune. I think it's a general Chassid. You know what? I should ask in the group. I'll ask. I think it is Chabad. Who's who's whose song it is? And uh, maybe it is a Chabad song. I think it's a general one. I think it's a general nigga. I don't know. Thanks, Amoy, and I have to go. There's a delivery coming now, but I might come back. I'm just. I hope so, and then you can listen to it afterwards. Well, yeah, okay, thanks. Thanks, Emil. Okay, so let's do some more. Uh, we did Yibane Amikdash. We did three of them. Let's do one from Rav Ginsburg. There's a beautiful Yibane Amikdash from Rav Ginsburg, and it goes part A, B, C, B, A. It like goes, like you get more excited and more excited, and then you go back and then say, I wish it's going to be happen already. Yibane Amikdash. Irzion te male, Veshamena shir shir hadash, Uvir nana nahale, Mimbane hamidash, Irzion te male, Vesham. Yeah, man. 
do we have? <laughs> I lived there for two years when I was a kid. Yes. You ask where the accent is from? Yes. Uh, uh, did we do Bnei Vetcha? We did. And we did Ibn Amikdash. We did a few melodies. And um, let's do an, a nigan by uh, Benzi and Schenker. Benson Shaker, which was a Mojitzer Menagin. And uh, the story goes like this. He was on a plane in 1968, and he was going to a bar mitzvah of a dear friend, uh, somebody that he was going to the bar mitzvah, especially going to Eretz Israel, he was a relative. And on the way on the plane, he thinks to himself, wouldn't it, have, wouldn't it have been nice if I could bring him a present for the bar mitzvah, I bring him a nigan. And since you know everybody's excited about Yerushalayim now, and and uh, there's some famous song going around, but it's not from the, the from a pasuk or something. Let's let's look for a song about Yerushalayim. And he opened the siddur, and the first pasuk that caught his eye was And he says, oh, and he says one of the songs that the composition went like flew like. From beginning to end is one little piece without needing to correct or change, whatever. Just, he got it right there, the whole song. And uh, he wrote on a piece of paper. And when he got to the bar mitzvah, he sang it. And then the chazanim that heard it, you know, they loved it. And it, it got famous. Within a year, everybody all around the world was singing this song. And I'm talking about L'Yerushalayim Recha Berchamim Tashuv by Ben Zion Shekel. L'Yerushalayim Recha ברחמים תשוב, ותשכון בתוכה, ותשכון בתוכה, כאשר דיברת. ולירושלים העירך, ברחמים תשוב, ותשכון בתוכה, ותשכון בתוכה, Shalom, 
ברחמים תשו, ותשכון בתוכה, ותשכון בתוכה, כאשר דיברת. ובנהוגך, בקרוב בימינו, ובנהוגך, בן ציון שנקר. What else can we connect with that? I think I sang it to you last year. There's another half from the song of Al Narod, from the chapter of Al Narod Avel, goes Shiru Lanu Mashir Tzion. Please sing us from the song of Zion, the captors, captors of the Leviim that would capture the Yerushalayim when taken out to the Galus. They were sitting on the rivers of Babylon and they were asked, you know, please sing us from the song. I don't know, please, he said, sing us from the song of Zion. And it says, how can we? How can we sing the song of Hashem in a foreign land? Um, there's, a, there's a vort by Moshe Musa Berlin, the famous clarinet player. And uh, he said, on this, on this uh, saying, on this quote, Pasuk, you can say, uh, and, uh, Uh, this, you can say it inside out. You can also ask, how come, how can you play in Zion the song of the diaspora? You know? On the foreign land, how can we sing songs of a foreign land, land in our holy place? It doesn't fit. There's so many songs today that just don't fit. We bring from other wells and other places and, and it just not shayach. If you want to know if a nigun is holy and if it's kosher and if it's 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 kedai to sing it, ask yourself, will they sing this in Beit HaMikdash? Does this fit, this arrangement? It's not only a song, sometimes it's the arrangement. The song is very nice, but the arrangement is like wild with a wild beat and, and, and too much noise and, and you, you lose the edelkeit of, of, of a real nigun. So ask yourself, will they sing this? Could, could they sing this or would they sing this in Beit HaNikdash? So I'm talking now about Shiru Lanu Mashir Tzion. Sing to us on the Song of Zion. Uh, the beginning, I don't know if the ending, I don't remember the, how the way it goes. Uh, ah, now I remember his family name. They asked me in Hebrew and I didn't remember. In Boyan, there's a, there's a uh, the musician in Boyan, one of the big musicians was called, uh, it's called uh, Pinya Chazan. Pinyet, Pinchas, the, the cantor, and his name is Spector, Pinchas Spector, his name, he really named it, but he's nicknamed Pinyet Chazan. A lot of big, amazing uh, pieces of music in, in Bayan. And he has a piece, a whole uh, Chazanas piece, long thing about uh, um, Al Narod Babel. What's going on here? No, 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 that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just chat away and see the participants. Okay. And one, a big long piece about Anna Odolin and towards the end of the piece, or the middle of some part of the piece is Shiru Lanu Mishir Tzion. And it goes like this. Shiru Lanu Mishir Tzion Shiru Lanu Mishir Tzion Shiru Lanu Mishir Tzion משיר ציון, שירו לנו משיר ציון, שירו לנו משיר ציון, שירו לנו משיר ציון, 
משיר ציון, איך נשיר, איך נשיר, איך נשיר את שיר השם, על אדמת נהך, איך נשיר, איך נשיר. איך נשיר את שיר השם על אדמת נהך. אם אשכחך ירושלים תשכח ימיני. אם אשכחך ירושלים תשכח ימיני. תדבק לשון הילכי כי אם לא אזכרכי, אם לא אעלה את ירושלים על ראש שמחתי, אם לא תדבק לשון הילכי, כי אם לא אזכרכי, אם לא אעלה את ירושלים על ראש שמחתי, אם אשכחך ירושלים תשכח ימיני, אם אשכחך ירושלים תשכח ימיני. תדבק לשון נלכי, כי אם לא אזכרכי, אם לא אעלה את ירושלים על ראש שמחתי. תדבק לשון נלכי, כי אם לא אזכרכי, אם לא אעלה את ירושלים, על ראש שמחתי. The love for Eretz Yisrael and the love and yearning for Beth HaMikdash are going to help us bring the Geula. Um, the difference between Gola and Geula is very, very small. Gola and Geula, especially in Hebrew. You see, there's one more vowel that you have to add there. Instead of Gola, it's Geula. Two vowels instead of one vowel. In Hebrew, you just have to add an Aleph. So instead of Gola, we get Geula. The Aleph is Alufo Shalolam. It's representing godliness. We should bring godliness in the world. We should, we should bring you know, more light and more happiness and more whatever flowing in the world, and Mashiach can come. So um, one of the ways to bring you la la which song was it that I wanted to sing? I really forgot. Yeah, a song by Ravitsa Ginsburg, talking about uh, uh, having Rahmanas on the land. Hashem is, is going to have mercy on the land. Um, You're going to have mercy. I think it's Perek Kuv Bet, if I'm not mistaken. Chapter 22, 102. Maybe 107. I don't remember which chapter it is. Never mind. Which chapter? When we say the Berchus of the Torah, Rachem al Bet Chayeno. Right. Right. And... It's one of we say in the end of the davening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah <laughs> Yechonenu Ki ratsu abadecha Et avaneha 
last week, uh, talking about Parashat Pinchas in Eretz Yisrael, and talking about Pinchas as Eliyahu, we could have done Chadesh Sesoni, Kelna Vahavi, at Eliyahu Navi, one of the poems for, for Melave Malka. And I just, I just remember this one. I should remember for next year. But in America, it's still Pinchas this year. And we have some in Chutzlars, we have some people here from Chutzlars. I think Aviva, uh, Bacheva is here with us, are you? And I think we have some more, and some more are going to listen to it. So let's do a, a, at least some of the words. It's a long poem. A, Hashem, you should renew your happiness and bring Eliyahu Nabi and uh, announce the Geula. Chadesh <laughs> Sesoni, Kelna Vehavi, Et Eliyahu Hanavi. אמץ בחזק, ריף יון ידי, ברך מזוני, לכל מעבדי. גורלי, זכורני ומודי, דברך הטוב, אחש לעודדי. הארץ הושלך, ושמח לבבי את אליהו הנביא ועד וחזק רפיון ידי זרמנה מזוני I don't remember the words da 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 יבוא משיחי לעיר מושבי את אליהו הנביא יבוא משיחי לעיר מושבי את אליהו So that's a beautiful song by Ravita Ginsburg. So what else do we have to do? What didn't we do? We didn't do She Bada Bet And that's another one in English. Somebody on the phone, I'm gonna wait till half the phone so they don't hear me. I have a piece of chocolate so I have enough sugar in my system. No fall asleep. Okay, I don't care. I'm going to sing. So, the one song I want to do in English, you all know it. You've sang it so many times. Do we have to wait? We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. Do we have to wait? Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. Do we have to wait? We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. Do we have to wait? We want Mashiach now. We don't want to wait. Na 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 na
שיבנה בית המקדש במהרה בימינו, ותן חלקנו בתורתך. 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 That's it for today. Next week, Bezal Hashem with Mashiach in Bet HaMikdash. And uh, hopefully we can play instruments already next week. So I'm saying goodbye. We'll see you in the next week.